Okay, let me just preface this whole thing by saying I have very minimal experience with forklifts. Um, this looks like it should be pretty easy, but I just want you to know I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. So that went pretty smoothly. I got it in no problem. Uh, way better than trying to get a bunch of guys and drag it out of a truck. It's really pretty heavy. So now I've got about a 20 minute drive to get this bobcat back to my to my neighbor. Um, and then hold tight because real soon you're gonna get to see what that is. How's it going everybody? So today's a bit of a different video. Uh, you're gonna get to see the new machine which is exciting but I also have a, a new project I've been working on which is not furniture, it's a blog. Uh, that I've been creating to provide more content to you guys. Now this video is sponsored by Wix and Wix is the platform I'm using to build this blog. Wix offers um, a platform to build all kinds of websites, super customizable, they have a ton of templates. You can do e-commerce, you can do portfolios, you can do blogs, um, you can do a lot with this uh, platform. I've really gotten uh, into it now and really have enjoyed the process. This is the layout of my website. They allow you to come over here and you got menus and pages where you can set up all your different pages. Um, you can work on your background. You can actually have video backgrounds with Wix. Uh, you can add all kinds of gallery images, text, buttons, box, all kinds of things in. And it's a well thought out system where you just drag and drop it. Once it's in your website, you just bring up the editor uh, here and you have all these options for how you can adjust it. You can adjust the size, the font, um, bold, you can change colors, you can hyperlink. You can change a lot. You can even put effects on things. Um, so it's really cool once you drag in components, how easy it is to manipulate them and uh, change them to how you want them. So the purpose here for my blog, uh, I've got a two-part blog here. I've got a, uh, a watch section and a read section. So I'm going to provide you guys with videos and with written content. Um, I'm going to do how-tos, techniques. We're going to do um, things like lumber selection, finishes, anything that happens in a furniture shop. I want to try to touch in on that on my blog and create that. And, and really what inspired me to do this is you guys commenting on my videos asking for things like, hey, I want to know how you sharpen your chisels or how you sharpen your gouges. And that's not really content that I had ever planned on putting uh, in my YouTube. Um, so the blog is here to serve that purpose. So the first step with the blog is to obviously get the layout. I, I, I'm a very simple guy. I like simple designs. I'm going to have a home page where my blog posts are. It's going to be named Go and Make It, which um, obviously if you know uh, my channel, you, you know that I have a shirt that says Go and Make It. Um, the, the, the blog will also have an About Me page so you can learn more about me and I will have a link to my website so you can go and buy uh, products from me and merchandise from me, help support it. One thing I really liked about the Wix uh, editor was that you can switch from desktop to mobile and edit in two different um, platforms. So typically with the editors I've used in the past, it automatically kind of, the template translates it from the desktop to the mobile but with Wix, you can actually go into the mobile and it puts it in that uh, vertical aspect ratio and you can go through and, and move things around and get it set up exactly how you want it on the mobile platform. I really think that's a cool feature. I, that's so helpful because a lot of times it doesn't translate well uh, from desktop to mobile and Wix makes sure that you can do that. Here comes the exciting part of this blog. You guys right now are going to get to see the first few posts uh, that I've set up for it. One of which is a breakdown of the cost of restoring this old Oliver bandsaw. If you haven't seen that or don't know anything about it, um, I restored this saw. It's all on my YouTube channel. I've put it all on there for you to see. It's all transparent. The total cost of everything I paid for. And then a little paragraph kind of explaining 
uh, my thoughts on it, uh, where I could have saved money, where I did save money, and what I might do different. It's all there. It's a really informative post. I know a lot of you guys are probably interested in knowing that. Um, so that is the one of the first posts I'm putting up. Following that, another post about the bandsaw is me crowning the tires on the saw, uh, which is a process that should be done on every saw, but it got cut out of the restoration uh, videos that I did. So I wanted to put that up on the blog so you guys could see how I crown the tires, how I treat them. Uh, very informative, very helpful. I was actually really impressed with Wix's ability to handle the video. Uh, they have added options you can add to your plan that helps you uh, upload your own video onto the blog or onto your website. Um, the, the plan for my blog is to have a lot of video content, a lot of behind the scenes stuff, so um, I really needed that feature and they have a great way of laying it all out and organizing the videos. You can share the videos right off the blog. You guys can go in, watch them, share them on your Facebook pages. So. Uh, it's a really great system that Wix set up for video. So you've gotten to see a couple of the posts, a little taste of what's uh, to come from this. Um, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Uh, I'm thankful to Wix for sponsoring the video, for providing uh, the platform to do this. They have over 120 million users. If you want to get started with Wix, just head on down into my description, click the link, or go to Wix.com to start your own website. So I'm really excited to see where this blog goes. Um, I, I think it's going to be very, very helpful and very informative for you guys. Right now, for the first five months maybe, I'm going to have free content. It's not going to cost any money. I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to see how popular it is, if you guys enjoy it, if I can keep up with all the work. Um, and if it seems to be going well, I think uh, at some point I might have a paid uh, subscription or even uh, kind of a donate uh, a button somewhere on the page just to help cover the expense of all the work that goes into creating this content for you guys um, but as usual I'm very thankful thankful to Wix um, cannot wait to get going on this uh, go on over right now check out Wix and when you get done with Wix head over and check out the blog <laughs> Okay, there it is. For those of you who do not know what this machine is, it is a hollow chisel mortiser. It cuts mortises into your workpiece. As far as I understand, it was bought for a school in Iowa, uh, and it was made in the 50s, and then purchased from that school from the owner who I bought it from in Kansas, uh, and he had it for five years. So it spent most of its life in a school, which means it probably got it didn't get taken care of very well. It probably got some abuse. I can see some damage already. That spring's cracked. But, you know, it, it, it's a restoration. I'm going to fix it up. I'm going to work on it. The great thing about this machine in comparison to my bandsaw is that I know this runs. I know it turns on. I know the motor's good. Um, I know everything functions on it because I saw a video. Um, and that makes things a lot easier for me. All I got really, all I need to do with this is clean clean it up get all the rust off and repaint and maybe replace a few bearings and and re-oil it and it should be good to go so i'm looking forward to this project you guys stay tuned and uh we're gonna get this bad boy up and running so before you guys go real quick one last thing we've got new t-shirts up on the bunker branding website check it out this is my bandsaw shirt. It is to commemorate the Oliver uh, bandsaw that we remodeled. Super cool, kind of a vintage look. I don't know if you can see that. Help support the channel, help support the new blog by heading over and buying merchandise. I really appreciate everyone's support. I'm looking forward to providing you guys the content on the blog and a lot more content here on YouTube. Be on the lookout for the restoration of this machine. Those videos are coming shortly after this one. I'm going to start tearing it down, cleaning it all up, and repainting it. Uh, this machine will hopefully be back up and running a lot quicker than the bandsaw. Uh, there's a way more work involved in the bandsaw than I think will be involved in this. Uh, and hopefully soon we'll be using this to build furniture and you'll be seeing it in my videos.